whole lot of dependent clauses. And the dependent clauses, most of the time, will be associated with the predicate part of the sentence. And they'll all be expanding the sentence, usually on the predicate part of the sentence. Well, how do I tell whether I have an independent clause or a dependent clause? Independent clauses will have no conjunction beginning them, no conjunction, or they will have what we call post-positive conjunctions. Uh, and you have seen some of these already, I think, but there's de, and there's men, and there's un. If you haven't learned these yet, that's fine. You're going to learn them very shortly. And gar. And there's a few others that you'll have, but these are all post-positive. And by post-positive, we mean that they come after the positive position in the sentence positive position being the first position, so post-positive, they come after that. If you have a series of words in your sentence, uh, post-positive is usually the second position in the sentence or the third position in the sentence. You'll have one of these conjunctions, and so you might have a de right here in the second part. That's post-positive. It occurs second in the sentence, but we translate it first in English. Independent clauses tend to have post-positive conjunctions or no conjunction at all. Dependent clauses tend to have a conjunction right at the beginning of the clause. And the two that we'll see most often will be hati and hina. And hati means uh, that or because or for or since, uh, can have a number of meanings. Hati and hina means that or in order that. So a hati or a hina at the beginning of the clause uh, will indicate a dependent clause and no conjunction or one of these uh, post-positive conjunctions will usually represent an independent clause. Now, the conjunction chi can go either way. Chi connects like elements. So if it is at the beginning of an independent clause, it means it's connecting it to another independent clause. If it's at the beginning of a dependent clause, it means it's connecting two dependent clauses. And so chi will show up first in the clause, and it can be used either with independent or dependent clauses. Another one that can go both ways is Allah. That means but, and it's a strong adversative. It's not this, but this, or this, but also this. So uh, those are the two conjunctions that can occur at the beginning and introduce either an independent or a dependent clause. Now that's more than Mounts does with this, this early in the lesson, uh, but I want you to be aware of that. 